Good morning, or depending when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told, out of voice the radio. So today, I am very, very excited, because Pokemon V have finally been revealed. We have seen Zacian and Zamazenta Z, but honestly, ladies and gentlemen, that's, um, well, let's just say they were heavily redacted. They didn't show us weakness, resistance, retreat cost, attack cost. The abilities which we knew were on there from before were taken away. So, yeah. I mean, it's kind of adorable that they showed them to us, but they showed us very little. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there is a big tournament going on in Japan at the moment. Some Pokemon V have finally been properly revealed, and we're going to start with Celebi. Celebi really good. Now, I am going to be doing a bunch of videos today, ladies and gentlemen, more than usual. So my plea to you, lovely ladies and gentlemen, please watch them. Please share them with other people. It's going to be terribly depressing if I make lots of videos today and nobody watches them. So if you could be lovely and watch them and get your friends to watch them and share them around, etc., I would be delighted. So Celebi V, then, our translation comes from the lovely Antoine Boulet, who is a very lovely person. And if we start off with the basics, we've got 180 HP, which incidentally is as low as it gets. I mean, we know Zamazenta's up there with 230. So 180, frankly, ladies and gentlemen, is actually low for a Pokemon V. And you've got a weakness to fire. And weakness to fire at the moment is absolutely atrocious because of all the Welder decks running around like Reshiram and Charizard. And worth repeating, if you've forgotten, Pokemon V give up two prizes. There's no extra mechanic, there's no GX attack here. It is just powerful cards that give up two prizes. We don't know if there's going to be any evolutions here because every Pokemon V we've seen so far as far as we're aware, is a basic Pokemon. We're assuming Zacian and Zamazenta are basic, which is probably fair to assume that they are. So we don't know if there's any kind of evolution mechanic, because we've not seen any evolutions. But the weakness here is pretty crippling. We do like the retreat cost of one, because it means that U-turn board will give free retreat, so that's pretty lovely. And being a grass Pokemon means you're not hitting much for weakness at all. Slowpoke and Psyduck sees a little bit of play, and maybe more water Pokemon will see play to counter all these fire Pokemon, and maybe they'll be weak to grass, but as it stands at the moment, it's not a great weakness to be hitting. We do have some tricks as a grass Pokemon, stuff like Life Forest Prism Star and Shaman from Lost Thunder, but they're generally built around healing, and you've got a very bad weakness here. So... It's kind of fragile, but is it going to be any good? Well, the first attack, one grass energy, search your deck for up to two Pokemon, and put them into your hand. And we've seen this attack before. This attack was on Alolan Vulpix. Except, it was for zero energy, which is incredibly relevant, because it means you can use your attachment for the turn to attach to whatever you started with and retreat, and still be able to use it. If you start with a single retreat Pokemon, you cannot attach to that, retreat it, and then use Celebi's attack. So that's upsetting. And also, get gave up, like, one prize, rather than two. So I'm not loving this. I mean, look, searching for any two Pokemon is really good, and you can do things like search for Alolan Ninetales to grab yourselves rare candy, because when it evolves up, you can grab any two item cards from your deck, and grab a Stage 2 as well, maybe something like the Chandelure, which I love so much. I'm not saying it's a bad attack. Not at all. It's a good attack. I'm saying on a comparatively weak two-prize Pokemon with a terrible weakness, it's not a good enough attack. Basic Pokemon, zero energy, one prize, yes. Basic Pokemon, one energy, two prizes, terrible weakness, no. Fine in a pinch, fine in an emergency, but in the format we're in at the moment, I mean, something like a Blacephalon needs to lost zone free energy. Boom, they've got a one-hit KO. Something like a Pikachu and Zekrom with a single Electro Power. Boom, 
one hit KO. Mew to a Mew will not struggle to get a one hit KO. If this is in the active at the end of your turn, it is likely to get KO'd. Meaning this first attack isn't good enough. But the second attack, oh yeah, the second attack is definitely good enough. One grass, one colorless energy. This attack does 50 damage, plus 20 more for each of your benched Pokemon. Well, full bench, that's 150. That's 150 for two energy. That's good. We like 150 for two energy. And we looked at Wishy Washy GX the other day, which could do 160 for two energy, but you had to have six Wishy Washy in play. Which isn't the end of the world, but the problem with trying to get six Wishy Washy in play is that you end up having to have six Wishy Washy in play. And you might want Pokemon like Zeb Striker as a bit of a draw engine. Or you might want to use a Dedenne in the early game to get up and rolling. You might want to use other Pokemon. But you can't. Because every non-wishy-washy you use takes 20 damage off the board. That's not an issue for Celebi. Celebi, you use whichever Pokemon you want. Doesn't matter which Pokemon you've got. You whack it down. And you're doing an extra 20 damage. That's what I like about Celebi. And actually with Wishy Washy it could be worse because you might end up losing a bench space that you need for one of the Wishy Washy and Dragon Majesty, which is actually 40 damage rather than the usual 20. So to be completely blunt with you, I like this because you can put whatever you want on the bench, you can have any support Pokemon you like, any extra attackers, and you're hitting 150 for 2 energy. But one of them's a colorless energy, so anything is on the board here. Something like a Malamar, for instance. Have a 1-1 Malamar line, get this rolling, jobs are good and Tapu Koko Prism Star. Lost zones itself from the bench, attaches one lightning energy from the discard to each of two bench Pokemon, one of which can be Celebi, and then you just attach a grass energy and you're off to go. You could use Welder here, attaching a single fire energy and then drawing three cards. Not sure that's the best way to go about it but it absolutely remains an option. I mean, if you go into the expanded format, you've got everything along the lines of Max Elixir that you could use here, and it just gets even easier. But I don't think you even really need to start mucking about with stuff like that. Because there's a colorless energy in the cost here, you can use any energy acceleration you like. Now, if the attack was for two grass energy, I'd feel a little bit different. I'd be a lot less in favor of it. I'd be a lot less cheery. Because accelerating grass energy just isn't that easy. But that's a moot point. Because it is. Honestly, I think about the only thing holding this Celebi back is the weakness. And maybe the low HP. Because there's a possibility here in another format. With a different weakness of a bit more HP. That this Celebi sitting here. Healing up every turn with stuff like Life Forest, Prism Star and Shaman. Hitting an easy 150 for 2 energy and just kind of laughing at the competition. But then we go back to gives up 2 prizes, 180 HP, bad weakness. I mean, giving up 2 prizes, 180 HP, we've got Blacephalon. And that's a really good attacker. And we've even had Tapu Fini printed, which literally gets a KO as a basic Pokemon for a single colorless energy. And Blacephalon still sees play. The Dene's got 160 HP, but the ability's so good we don't mind. It's not just the HP, it's the HP combined with the weakness and the fact that you're not one hit KOing every tag team GX. Because Blacephalon can loss zone 6 energy and KO any tag team GX. Celebi's getting Slowpoke and Psyduck, and Celebi's getting Magikarp and Waylord, and incidentally, right, if any of these cards become amazing this is a phenomenal counter you can chuck it in any deck using rainbow energy or playing one or two grass energy and using viridian forest to search them out that's fine this is a brilliant grass tech for if you want to hit grass weakness but it is quite weak in and of itself so i'm giving it between three and four wassies I love that for one grass energy and a colorless, it can be a brilliant splashable grass attacker. The first attack is great in a pinch for getting Pokemon, but it is weak. And that could come back to bite you. 
So there we go, ladies and gentlemen, the first but not the last Pokemon V we're going to be looking at today. Please do make sure you check out the rest of these videos because they're going to be coming thick and fast. And then, of course, tell me what you think about Celebi V. Let me know in the comment section. Go nuts. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wassy, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, etc., head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, where you can do exactly that. And please do make sure you're checking out youtube.com slash Plays, where we talk about a whole bunch of games that don't even have any Pokemon in. But by far the most important thing as always... Look after yourself till next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching PTCG Radio.